Welcome to Table Talk. I'm back. Yeah! <laughs> Hello. We Hello. Like... Oh, hi. We missed you. Get out of here. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 Mm. Tastes like foreign. <laughs> she tastes like monsters. That's the Just, worst joke I've ever made. <laughs> you yeah, went beer, yeah. I thought chicken. <laughs> like Foster's Farms? Mm, salmonella. <laughs> yeah, you're very raw and undercooked. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Table Talk. I know what goes on here. Let's do it. Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe we just became your kids or something. Yay. What the fuck is this shit, you guys? I know it's the biggest. What? No, 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 no. Oh. What bullshit? Mod? What Mod? happened after I hold left? On. Everything hold is on, falling hold on, hold apart. On. No, no, no. <laughs> you guys can't even do fucking Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mod was in charge of cutting these. Mod, what happened, sweetheart? Look at this. Well, you Look know, at when this. cards against humanity, you have blank cards and you can write. Oh, you can put your own topic in. Go yeah. ahead, Joe. No, that's not what's going on. Go ahead on. and say no, your own topic. No, I'm not saving oh, this ship. Oh, come on, that was a ship. good save. No, 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 no. <laughs> you guys, all the women and children and rich people have already filled the lifeboats. <laughs> so spend's going down. We're the band that's playing on the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure working with you, boys. <laughs> No, 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 too fast, John. Just, just, the ship's going down. Don't play the fast one. <laughs> but I'm trying to get on a fucking boat. No, asshole. you can't. You're look. You are a popper. Why don't you want a boat? What happened to you? Jab Soccer says, if you could only wear one set of clothing for the rest of your life, what would it well, be? Definitely underwear. No, what would oh. it be composed of? And that's wrong. Uh, well, you would wear a watch. Just underwear? <laughs> no. No, you can do wait, 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 wait. What is the, if you could only wear one type of clothes for the rest of your life, what would Pajamas. they be? Pajamas. Yeah. What called. would they be composed of? I don't get that. Like, what, what is it made It's of? like, I don't know, fucking meat. Like, okay, no, no. I would wear a kimono. A satin or silk but kimono. It, kimono. It's not even asking what it is. So like, it's what it's made of. What is, whatever, it could be whatever. Something quite durable because you're wearing it day in, day out. Let's take the logical approach. So I could approach. have like an adamantium suit of armor or something. Ooh. I can do that. You're not really getting it around anywhere very quick. That's true, I couldn't move at all. <laughs> like, but what if there were joints that could move? Nope, still. Mm, yeah. You're a all weak right. man. What about like a Batman suit? What's it composed of? Batman's? Batman. Like Batman's <laughs> skin? <laughs> you like, this one's and you got Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. <laughs> yeah, my nipples are... <laughs> I got a little bit of Christian Bale right here. Uh, the legs, they're Adam West, you know, because oh. he's old and uh, he was really stretchy. I do a lot of squatting, so I needed a little bit of Adam West in the thigh area. Oh, Who the best? Is Val Kilmer? What yeah. that oh, no, no, that's Clooney. 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 That's Clooney. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's just like George little Clooney. George Clooney faces. <laughs> he wasn't a bad Batman. He was in a bad Isn't Batman. Weird? Movie. I also think that Elle McPherson was great. She's not an actress. She oh yeah, was she was the love interest. Movies. I get that. I get that. But she was like, oh, have mm -hmm. It's like, what's that a word? <laughs> she just makes sounds. Made out of Batman's. That's the best. Will somebody with artistic abilities please render that for us? <laughs> a suit made out of Batman. Somebody wearing a suit that is just made out of all the Batmans from history. <laughs> Batman, I guess. Mm -hmm. And you can include the guy because I don't even know what he looks like. The guy, like the famous dude that does the animated Batman's voice. What's that oh, guy's oh, name? Oh, Kevin Conroy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kevin Throw Kevin Conroy in there. What the fuck? There's Why quite not? a few people who, who have voiced mm -hmm. Batman. That's true. In wait, wait. Games. There's another famous one. What's his name? I know that Troy Troy Baker's done it. And yeah. who was another one? Who was it? Oh, Diedrich Bader. That's the one I was thinking of. Diedrich Bader did Batman? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Which one? I knew he was a, a voiceover guy. Is it the Batman? The cartoon? Yeah. Someone in the audience knows. I know it. Oh, Roger Craig Smith did a Batman. He did Batman Origins. That's cool. Your challenge is to create that suit. Not like a real challenge. Don't go murder people and make this suit. <laughs> Don't murder Val Kilmer, please. <laughs> He's already doing so badly oh, these days. I love Val Kilmer. So Matt Mordigan. Where he was Matt Mordigan in Willow. Oh, so Joe's a big good. Willow fan too. You are? Love loves Willow. Willow. Love I'm going to call my daughter Allura after oh, Allura's dad. Good. Don't steal that shit, man. Don't do that. I don't want there to be like that. That's such a good movie. I heard there, there there was like rumblings of a maybe a, no. a something. Oh, I don't want to say sequel, but oh. I do maybe want to say remake. They should have at least made like a book series or like a graphic novel, like a comic book series or if something? If they did a remake, I can't enjoy it because I only developed my little person phobia after like, I watched Willow for the first time. Yeah, she's terrified. You just had Vern Troyer in the office. Yeah, she wasn't there. She wasn't around. <laughs> she wasn't around. 
She was not around. <laughs> oh no! She didn't, she, did you like? You did you I take a to, sick day? I forgot to go to work. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> All right. Leza Sheza says, as a child, how'd you learn about death? Pets, grandma, religious uh, ritual, religious slaughtering. I think movies. Slaughter. I learned death from movies. But when did you? Experience. Oh, like an actual. Because I, I think that's when you really learn is when you personally lose something. There was a kid in my school who had leukemia. Oh, that's so sad. That's sad. Yeah, and he and he he passed away. Were you close oh, with him? Man. We he, we knew him. We I wasn't close to him, but like the whole school knew who he was because he was part of a big family that like had a kid in every class essentially. Mm. So uh, that cool. was that was terrible, very very terrible stuff. Sorry, no jokes. I, um, <laughs> Sorry about that. I only Bring it down. ever knew one grandparent. So three of my grandparents had passed away before I was born. In fact, my dad was an orphan at 19. So it's like, yeah, I, wow. I knew about death like that. I was like, what? why don't I have a granddad? And they're like, well, there's a little thing about death. And this is in Australia? Mm -hmm. Your dad Your dad was born and raised in Australia? Uh, yep. Yeah. Cool. Parents are Australian. So I am Australian. Yeah, but we don't know if they came from somewhere else or something and then settled in Australia or some shit. <laughs> that, was kind of, that was kind of a fuck you response. Yeah, it really was, Mon. I was uh, I'm genuinely curious yes. about where your father's from, Mon. <laughs> I'm genuinely curious about your father. Uh, <laughs> he just pooped on me. I had like... I, uh, oh. my, <laughs> my first dealings with death on any level were with just pets mm -hmm. yeah. and you know I cried and all that stuff I've actually been very fortunate that nobody like super close to me has died yet like, Ooh, like, like, like I know but like super it's gonna happen real soon because I'm getting on in life so I've had some like acquaintances and stuff here and there I had a grandfather that wasn't that close to me mm. die and that made me sad mm. and I cried but I'm, I'm waiting for that, that was big like you cried. oh I cry a lot I watched Inside Out that oh my it. god I cried twice dude Bing bong! Bing, Bing bong! bong. <laughs> I really need to watch this movie. <laughs> what's, what's the song? It's like, who's the something, something, something? Bing bong, oh, bing bong. Man. I fucking love Bing bong. It's been out long enough. We can talk about Bing bong, right? Well, I haven't seen the movie. God damn it. Nothing you bad either. happens to Bing bong. Yeah. Bing bong's great. You're terrible at this. Can't wait for Inside Out 2 where Bing bong comes. <laughs> 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 oh. He's great. <laughs> I, I cry a lot in movies. I have a feeling I, I don't want to see this movie because I know I'm no, it's weak. so good. It's so like, good. It's good. It's Pixar. It's just Pixar amazingness. Something you. It doesn't like, dumb the movie down at all. No, it's, it's not even kids. for kids. It's for kids. That's not fair. I mean, it's, it's for visually kids. for kids. No, even what they're dealing with is for kids. Kid, I guess you're right. What I, they're dealing with yeah. that that whole the emotional transition that she goes through in that movie. She's a kid. That's what kids are going through. Yeah, they're yeah. going through it. Don't dumb down your content to kids because you think like kids are dumb. Everybody. They're not. But it's for everybody. And yeah. there's like elevated concepts of like the mind and stuff that they really play with. It's really good. That even as an adult, we're baffling and mind blowing. And I'm like, whoa, shit. What if that's how memories work? And oh my God, yeah. this is so good. My only, my only qualm with the movie is that I don't consider disgust like one of the core five emotions. That's yeah. just it. Yeah. What a weird thing. I think they probably put her in there to be like a funny, like. Do you know who she looked like? Who? Who? What? Think real hard. Who does disgust look like? You know her. She's in your life. So she had, So she was like. She had the eyebrow or eyelashes. Had this like sh hair, kind of a little bit of attitude. It's Tiffany Morgan. Ah! <laughs> it's <laughs> Tiffany Morgan. It's Elliot's wife. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Oh my God. God. Yeah. Disgust oh is Tiffany Morgan. Oh my God. Tiffany Morgan. Tiffany Morgan is disgusting. Has she seen again? Have you talked to her about it? No, I haven't yet. Uh -uh. Oh my God. Yeah. I. That's. I. I, I, I kept see. seeing her. I was like. That's fucking Elliot's wife. Yeah, Canon C. That's like her to a T. That's I mean, she's wife. a beautiful, wonderful person, though. Mm -hmm. So that I mean, you know, she's not disgusted by things, but she's very funny and witty, and that's how what that character was. And disgusting. That was very, very good cover up. Very good. <laughs> I love Tiffany. She's great. No, it's, it's know, just it's the character, it's the look, and kind of like the attitude. Yeah, she's kind of sassy and smart. So getting back to death really quick, I want to talk about how we're getting to an age, Joe. Where we're about to die. Where we're about to die. We've got Sorry, one foot in the grave. Parts of our body are shutting down. I don't know how tired you get at 5 p.m. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I will say this. Unfortunately, we're getting to an age where you, we know people that we're close to are going to die. And that's terrifying yes. to me. And to me, and it's so somber and awful. Like, it's just like... I'm losing an uncle. Like, I just, I'm losing an uncle. An uncle just passed away this week of mine. And I'm like, oh. I know. I have to go to a funeral tomorrow. Oh. It's terrifying. Oh. Jesus. I hate it. And it's like, 
th- we are at this age where it's like, shit, these people we grew up with are going to die. We're going to go through this transition that I see, like, that we, I don't think it's talked about much, but you notice that people are get to this point in life where right now it's going to happen. Yeah. People that we're close to, people we know are going to start passing, and it's going to be shocking at first. Yeah. And it's going to be the thing that you call people about. You're like, oh, my God, yeah. can you believe it? But then in, like, 10, 15 years, 20 years probably, 50 25 years. I think after that 25, you're like 55 to 60. Conversations literally go like this. Hey, how's it going? Uh, how was your weekend? Oh, it was good. Uh, John died. Oh, oh God, John. John. Oh, oh, cool. Well, John see great. you later. You're right. <laughs> it's just going to become like one of those things. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, next topic. <clears throat> oh, that was mine. Unfortunately. <laughs> I had my dog die in front of me. Oh. Not, not, the not one that fell off the... Okay. <laughs> I saw my dog get hit by a semi, <laughs> and she survived. Oh, and then shit. she got hit by another car. Oh. And survived. And survived. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah, and then she actually got hit again. And, <laughs> and she was bit by a bee and died. And she survived. <laughs> like, and, then, and then we woke up one day and she wasn't there anymore. The true story now. All that other stuff was true. She used to chase cars and just get slammed. She'd like break a leg, get better, and never learn a fucking thing. Wow. Uh, and then we woke up one day and we're like, where's Heidi? And we found out that she pretty much Sometimes dogs just get up and they walk into the forest, they pick a place to lay down and die, and that's what she did. Wow. Did that you be... find her body or anything? No. Or did you just... No. Well, she just be... up and went to die. Yeah, she, I mean, she was old and we knew it was kind of coming. And Dude, what if she was like David and Elmish when it became a tree? A tree. Oh. Look around you. There are many things to see that some would say will never be. I wish I was in this conversation. Never send dream and happy home. You'll find the bum 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 the nose. Book nerd Tim. Bitch doesn't like to harmonize. She is actually really good, Joe. Oh, okay. We're. So we're holding auditions for a new nerd host. <laughs> hey, there he is. Come say hi. Come in here. Come say hi. Get in no, here. No, he doesn't want get to. Get in here. Look at how come tired say hi. he looks. Come say hi. Come, come I'm pimp your shit. I'm opening the door now. I'm opening the door. Do it. Come pimp your shit, dude. Come pimp your shit. There it is. Who are you? It's Andy from Screen Junkie. Hi. Hey. What's up, man? This is Table hey, Talk. I'm you, so excited to interrupt your show. You yeah. guys like trailers? You, you like honest trailers? Yeah, this you is your guy. Oh yeah. my god, that's so cool! You were on movie fights and you yes, killed it. Yes, I was, it. and we're gonna be in the tournament thing with 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 uh, Matt Lieberman. Yeah, he still hasn't asked me to be on it. Yeah, I mean, you know, me the dude. Or whatever. Me the. Do you know Andy Mod? Hi, Andy. I'm Mod. You don't know Mod? Mod works no, with Tiffany. I know Mod. I've never actually. And Alicia. Well, why don't we get all three of you on a movie fights? That's it. That's oh, it right there. Now I. Can now he it. said it on table talk. Now it must be done. <laughs> All right, you keep playing your game. You can keep that. I'll All right, we'll put it right I'll here. No, I want it back. Actually. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. This is my life. Enjoy your nature box. <laughs> <laughs> this is not brought to you by Nature Box. It sure isn't. And nature Box <laughs> sounds like a chick that doesn't play. <laughs> All right. Um, no, and by the way, I, okay, so, Maude, we've been picking on you a lot, and I'm that's sorry, because right, I, I really it. love you a lot. And that's the thing I love about Maude, too, is that here at SourceFed... You can take a dump on Maude. You can take a dump on Maude. We all, like, we really do poke fun at each other, but Maude, like, can fucking bite back, and she's got a bite, goddammit. And, uh, but you also harmonize very well. We were doing plenty yeah, of Yeah, just that. another song! Yeah. What's the song, song you know? One, two, one, two. What do we harmonize? Well, we'll pick a we song. We harmonize a lot. In the car, yeah, we did. We do. I did. Sh- I almost shit in your car. Yeah. I, t- I we farted in your car. Song about <laughs> <that>. <laughs> we, were, we were going to E3. Yeah. It was me, Mon, and Sam in the back seat, and we were in the parking garage. Yeah. And I farted, and I had been farting a lot. It was one of those weeks where there was a lot of farts. Farty week. I it get was a farty it. Week. Yeah. Farty week. And uh, I farted in her car, and I was like, "Ooh, yeah, that might be shit. It actually might be shit." <laughs> And I wasn't sure. And I was like, when we get out of the car, I'm going to have to check. <laughs> because I don't know if I shit myself. In my car. In your car. I'm so sorry, Mom. What were we singing, though? Uh, I think we changed the lyrics from the Vance Joy Riptide song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Darker side. Yeah. Yeah, when I get out, I'm going to have to check downstairs. Yeah. Something. They are stuck on my short hairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Yep. You. 
I just got some tragic pants. <laughs> Dude, you shaved yourself a pair of pants. Mm. All right, book nerd Tim. That looked painful. Oh. Uh, oh. Don't do it, Joe. Your brain, it's sensitive. Oh, dude, it's gone. <laughs> Book Nerd Tim asks, what is your go-to daydream? Mine is some action hero oh. BS where I save the day. I love this guy. Mine's some action hero <laughs> BS where I save the day. If I dream I have some fucking family and I'm happy in the future somewhere, <laughs> God, we have some fucking shitty kids and I love them. <laughs> oh, it's your life. Oh, yeah. um, I do have, I, I don't know if anyone else has this. And it's been going on for a very long time. I randomly think of, uh, like, things will just pop into my head for no reason. No reason. I'll just be like, brush my teeth, and it's like, boom. Um, and I'll, for a long chunk of time, it was Hercules, the television series. Oh, yeah. I'd just be like, boom. And I get a flash of it, and be like, that's weird. Like you're in it? No, I just like, I just get a flash of the show. Like, like an episode you like right. or Kevin something? Kevin Sorbo used Kevin to be Sorbo. a thing. You know, just a poof. But now, every time I go into the bathroom and clean my teeth, I get a flash of this video game, Elder Scrolls. Oh, okay. Like, oh. boom, and I'm like, that's, that's right, I would cook in that game. I don't know if that's a daydream, though. Is that a daydream? A daydream is like when you're like, sitting there and you're tired and you're like, you're imagining yourself somewhere else. <laughs> what if she thinks they're daydreams, but really, she's having seizures? <laughs> <laughs> I'm she's right just here. like, on the floor? Oh, 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 she's like, just oh, pictures oh, Elder Scrolls and then she wakes up and she oh, doesn't remember any of it. I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to you. You had a seizure dream. Mod, listen. Every word we'll that talk about your seizure dreams anything. after this. But I think I'm in the same boat. I don't know if I, I don't tend to daydream. I will have these moments where like, I'll go back to situations where I really should have, like, if I, I didn't tell somebody off the right the right way. Oh, like, and you go over I have these, like, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go back and I'm like, yeah. okay, this is how it would be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or you know, if I really want to tell somebody off, like I'll go through the steps like 20 times in yeah. my head. Yeah. And then I have it down and then it's like, <laughs> like what you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fuck it up. <laughs> oh, I am the cleverest person 15 minutes yeah. after something. We all are. Yeah. I think yeah. everyone is. I, I have a daydream. Like, I usually daydream about what I'm going to do after I'm doing. Like, it, like, if it's something boring and I'm daydreaming, it means that I'm not having a good time. So it's like I'm thinking about, like, oh, man, I'm going to go home and play Batman. Or, oh, man, I'm going to go I'm gonna go to sleep. Or I'm going to go hang out with my friends. I'm going to go see a movie. So I'm usually very much thinking about... Oh man, this weekend I'm doing this. It's Fourth of July. I'm going so to San Diego. Stuff like planning. that. Planning. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's that so much as it's just like thinking about how fun the weekend is going to be, or something like so that. So basically, you hate a lot of the chunk of your life. I hate the present. <laughs> is that a, a wouldn't possible? that wouldn't that be the worst? <laughs> like, that's the only <laughs> the thing present. that you hate. <laughs> I uh, have, yeah, I love everything. I'm so happy, but I hate the present. I hate right now. I hate right now. Wait, now. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. I, does no, before mean, when you said now, I love that. Yeah. But right now. <laughs> so if you're someone that hates now, does that mean you also hated everything that happened before You now? love it after the fact. So you love hindsight. I love Heinz ketchup. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, wait, why don't you pick one more, Mod? Or Joe, no, Joe, no, 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 no. I've done 7,000 of these. Why don't you catch up? <laughs> Heinz. Yeah, I like that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You'd love this. Man. I love that we just had a random Andy Signor. Is it Signor? <laughs> Signor, yeah, yeah. Signor, Signor. Yeah, let me just have a random. He's my boss. So we're holding auditions That's my boss. for a new host. <laughs> hey! I'm you... so excited to interrupt your show. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's my boss. I he's think cool. because you've been doing this for a long time, it's only fitting. Oh, no. Oh, that that's so time. nice of you, Maude. No, I can't because I wasn't there in the original moment. I feel oh. like I would be robbing oh, it. Just pass okay. it on to him. Wait, what is this? You better do it justice. <sighs> King Sonic 101 asks, would you rather... What is that, a coffee machine? I... I <laughs> said a coffee machine. <laughs> I think we should like make this a running joke for way too long. <laughs> 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 Joe, I don't want this to end. Uh, let's do another one. It could, no, I think we could. Let's no, we could do one more. Joe, go ahead and pull one more. Wait, wait, wait. Let's pull the editor. Did you want to choose one? Yeah, why don't yeah, you there choose you go. one, DJ's DJ? DJ's choosing one. And read it for and read us, read it out too. loud. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> hey! Nobody invited, nobody invited him on camera. Boy, we didn't ask him to come this. over here. DJ, <laughs> go! <laughs> <laughs> So this one is a question for the ladies and some oh. men. So I, I picked a good one. Okay. If you perform the pencil test, what the fuck? Yeah. Bust you. <laughs> what the fuck was that? And you're able to, 
And Don't be proud of that. <laughs> like, at all. I'm very proud. Uh, pencil ah. test, and you're able to hold the pencil. Would you say you passed or failed the test? Okay, so the pencil test is where you can hold your pencil. I think it's under your boob. Oh, that's fail. Yeah? Yeah. If you've got to lift your tits up to get a spray tan, I mean, gravity's not your friend. Yeah. I thought it was between here. No, that's easy. Uh, maybe did I fail? Did I pick a bag? I thought, no, I thought it was under the tip. I, I don't know. We're not going to go very we far. Go okay. Very far. All right, all right, all right, all right. You meet a 19-year-old that has led a very secluded life. Now you have to teach them about sex, making babies, giving orgasms, or where do you start? Steve, you had to do this with Will, right? <laughs> Yeah, and he wasn't listening the entire time. And I was telling him wrong things. Oh, man. Oh, man. So if I had to tell a 19-year-old... I'd start with sex. Well, you have... That's what it is, right? You have to start with sex? Giving orgasms. Well, yeah, you definitely build up to giving orgasms. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You know what I've never understood? Why is it hard for parents to tell their kids about sex? That's a great question. I... It's... it's, I, I honestly, for me, I, I don't think it's going to be hard for me. It shouldn't be hard for you, Joe. No. It shouldn't be hard when you're telling your kids about no, it. I think hard. it comes from a place <laughs> of so I should not have said that. I didn't hear what you said, and I wish I had. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I. Uh, <laughs> what did I, I miss? It's so <laughs> hard. It'll be hard. It won't be hard for the. I well, I was going to say. Like, she said I shouldn't have an erection when I talk to my kids about sex. <laughs> one of those things where like the adult if the adult is afraid or if the adult has an issue with their own sexuality then it's hard for that person to teach sexuality i think if if yeah if a parent dances around the subject it makes it more taboo than it needs to be but right. if you have a natural conversation because it's a normal thing and or if you can have dance while you do talk about the yes. subject here's a little conversation <laughs> yeah. i don't want to have <laughs> Can I see the question real quick? Let's go. Because I'll answer. I'll answer uh, the question and I'll go behind the camera to make sure nothing's gone wrong. Oh uh, yeah, cool. Uh, the question was, how would you tell your kids? Yeah, no, like a nineteen. No, 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 no nineteen-year-old. No, no. uh, so like, like, it's like play that thing about the Play-Doh's cave where the yeah. guy comes out of the cave for the cave. first time, but he's nineteen and go you have to it. teach him about sex. Walk him through step by step. I mean, yeah, just walk him. Yeah, yeah, just walk him through it. Like, if they're nineteen, you know. They know. Yeah, but I mean, if they're no, they don't They don't know. That's the point. But you just hey, you've got that, and then this person has this. Think how, how weird it, it would be if, like, you like you know things and you're like you're a logical thinker, yeah. and then somebody goes, "That thing you got, that tally whacker, no. that thing, mm-hmm. you put that into people. Yeah, you put that into and people. It you'd be like, stuff that makes babies. You'd be like, no. what the? F- no. What? Yeah. Yeah. It's like alien shit. What? Yeah, I put what? Yeah, you gotta put it in. No. no. Yes. No. And you have to ask. What? <laughs> Is your button undone? No. Well, one of them maybe. No, it's not. Guys, thank you so much for watching Table Talk. Use the hashtag Table Talk if you want to submit some more topics, or you can go to reddit.com slash r slash sourcefed. Joe, come to the office and do one of these. Don't ever. Okay, okay. Okay, cool, cool. (laughs) Yay. We'll do a couple of them with you, and maybe we'll do something special at VidCon or something. Yeah, I'll see you guys at VidCon. It'll be fun. So cool. All right, well, guys, thank you so much, and thanks to our special guest, Joe Beretta. We love you, buddy. Thanks for having me. Mon, anything else you want to say? You okay? You're a pretty baby. You're good. Timey kangaroo down, boy. Timey <laughs> kangaroo down, sport. Yeah. When do they sing? At what age do they start singing you that? <clears throat> That's not a real thing. Timey kangaroo down. Is it a real thing? I'm gonna harmonize now. <laughs> David the gnome. It is a great water. It's all right. Do it. All right, close your eyes. Repeat the credits are no good yet. I need something more real. And is it good? Yeah, that's his wing. It is. Oh yeah, did you blow yeah, a wing yeah, in his yeah, face? Or? <laughs> Take him. Full with his wings. I got a uh, remote controlled passenger car that I can ride in. It's for kids. Whoa. And it's, it's really sweet. It looks like a race car. And that's still in the box. I haven't opened it. Wait, and you can get in it and ride around yeah. it? Yeah. And you still haven't opened that? Uh, <laughs> it's bigger than I am, so I need help. Oh, <laughs> man. I will gladly help you open that, man, as long as I can get a ride in it. Am I too big for it? Yeah, you're too big. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs>